And hello again, everyone, and welcome again to a short stop with a short stop. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the second coming of Christ. There was a man by the name of Abner Doubleday that they said invented the game of baseball. And, you know, personally, I would love to meet him and to be able to talk with him and ask him how in the world he came up with the game of baseball because it's, it's a love of my life. And I would just like to sit down and talk with him for a while. But I know there's no possible chance because he's not going to come back. Uh, there's baseball players. You know, we have a, a player by the name of Babe Ruth, uh, Ty Cobb. Uh, Cy Young, Shoeless Joe Jackson. All these people were great baseball players in their time, but none of them are going to be able to come back. But I would love to be able to talk and sit down and converse with each and every one of them to find out uh, exactly how the game was played at that time and uh, just to be able to have a dialogue with them. But there is someone that is coming back that... And he is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, I will come again in John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. And then in Acts chapter 1 and verse 11, he said, I will come personally. He's not going to send some proxy or send somebody to come for him, but he's going to come back himself. And he's coming back to get his church, his bride, those that are saved and in good condition and are going to live with him in heaven forever. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16, it says he's going to come with a shout and with the trumpet of God. In Revelation 1, 7, it says he's going to come visibly. It says every eye is going to see him. 1 Thessalonians 5, 2, he says he's going to come suddenly. He's going to come without a notice. We don't have any idea what, when that is going to be. In 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10, it says he's going to come as a thief in the night. Most thieves try not to be seen. They don't want to be heard. They won't be noticed. But Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. But now the question is, when is he going to come? In Mark chapter 13, verses 32 through 35, it says that no one knows but the Father. Jesus Christ says he doesn't even know himself when he's going to come back. And there's been a lot of men over time that have written books and, and preached sermons that they've tried to come up with dates and, and different times that Jesus is going to come back. But if we look at the Bible and understand that Jesus himself doesn't even know, there's no man on earth that knows either. In Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36, again, it says only the Father in heaven is going to know when he's going to send Jesus back to come and get his church, his bride. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 52, I'm going to read this one for you. It says, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised, imperishable, and we will be changed. Wow. He's going to come with a shout. He's going to come with a, a trumpet sound. We don't know exactly when that's going to be, but the th one thing that we need to be is to be prepared, and that's to obey that gospel plan of salvation and understand that when we do that, then we have a right to be in heaven with Jesus. This Sunday, we are having a gospel meeting. B.J. Clark, the director of the Memphis School of Preaching, is going to be here with us Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Sunday is Friends and Family Day. Those of you that are out there within the sound of my voice, I'm inviting you to be my friend on Sunday morning. Bible study at 10 o'clock, worship at 11. Hope to see you there. Be prepared, be ready for Jesus to come back. Thank you again for being with a shortstop with a shortstop.